Namaste yogis, welcome to Utsav Yoga. I'm Utkarsh and this is the fourth class of this Power Yoga series. So in this class, mostly we are going to work on your spine. And at the same time, we're going to do some quick exercises that will help you to gain some nice stamina and strength. So without wait, let's start with some good practice. So for the first one, we're going to come into your hands and knees position over here. Going for a few wrist warm up over here first. So for this one, your knees according to your hip level, your toes are tucked in and your palms according to your shoulder level. Now from here, inhale, come back with the exhalation, lean your body forward like this and get some nice stretch in your wrist. Back, exhale, move forward, going for 10 of these. Take your time, complete your rounds. Making sure when you're coming back, you're inhaling and you're when, when you're going, sorry, when you're coming back, you're inhaling and when you're going forward, you're exhaling. And your tan hold here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Your right palm facing up, your left palm as it is. Inhale over there with the exhalation, lean towards your side. Breathe and hold here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release and relax. Shift your body forward, left palm facing up, right palm as it is. Inhale. Exhale towards your side. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release and relax. Again, shift your body forward. Bring some nice sensation in your palms so you can move your body like this. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now from here, we're going for a fingertips movement. So for this one, Come to your right fingertips, left fingertips, right fingertips down, left down, right, left, right down, left down, right, left, right down, left down. Four or five more rounds. <sighs> Inhale when you're coming up, exhale when you're going down. One. Okay, now switching the sides. This time, come to your left fingertips, right fingertips, left down, right down. Go for it. Seven to eight rounds. And your one. Very good. Okay, now from here, your toes facing back. Go back into your child's pose. Your knees are wide open according to your shoulder level. Bring your palms forward like this and bring your forehead to your mat. Five to seven seconds. Going to stay here in this position. Put some nice length and spine over there. Okay, slowly and gently, bring your body up, your hands and knees, bring your toes in, your knees according to your hip level, your palms according to your shoulder level. Now from here, we're going for a cat and cow pose. So for this one, inhale, look up, a nice arch. Exhale, look down, squeeze your belly and look down towards your navel. We're going for 10 of these. Inhale up, exhale, you're down. Take your time, complete your rounds. And round. Mm. 
Give you four more rounds. And your last one, inhale up and out. Exhale, you're down and squeeze. Release and relax. Okay, now from here, we're going for a variation. So for this one, inhale, your right leg up, a nice arch. Exhale, your knee to your forehead. For five, inhale up, arch. Exhale, knee to your forehead. For four, three more rounds. Knee to your forehead. Inhale up. Knee to your forehead. Inhale. And knee to your forehead. Release and relax. Switching the sides. This time, your left leg up. A nice arch over there. Look up. A hack seal. Knee to your forehead. One more rounds. Up and arch. Hack seal. To your forehead. Inhale. You're up and arch. A hack seal. Knee to your forehead. Inhale. You're up and arch. A hack seal your forehead release and relax again your toes facing back your knees are wide open bring your palms forward like this and your forehead to your mat a nice deep breath in and out Now slowly and gently again, bring your body up to your hands and knees. Again, the same thing, going for a cat and cow, but again with some nice variation. So for this one, inhale, raise your right leg up and arch. At the same time, your opposite hand, your left hand up. Look up, just try to go for a nice arch, as nice arch as possible for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, down, your palm down, your knee down, and your toe down. Inhale, your left leg, right hand. Nice arch. A hex heel. Down to your mat. Inhale. You're up. Your opposite hand. A hex heel. Palm down. Your knee down. Inhale. Right hand. Left leg. Your arch. A hex heel. Palm down. Your knee down. Inhale. Right leg. Left hand. A hex heel. Palm down. Your knee down. Inhale. Left. Your right. Exhale, your palm down, knee down. Two more rounds, come on, together. Inhale, you're up and arch. Exhale, palm down, knee down. Inhale, left leg, a nice arch. Release your right hand. Exhale, palm down, knee down. Inhale, your right, left hand. Exhale, your palm down, knee down. Inhale, left leg, right hand. Exhale, your palm down and knee down. Very good. Okay, now from here again, your toes back into your child's pose. slowly bring your body up into your Vajrasana okay now from here you're in your Vajrasana like this your toes back your knees together okay now from here inhale bring your hands from beside two up like this lengthen your spine stretch your spine exhale bring your right palm down to your mat right elbow down to your mat if possible and go for some nice side twist over there for six you can look towards your left palm as well for six five Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly come back up. Open your chest like this. Exhale, switching the sides. Left palm down, right hand up. Left elbow down and go for some nice side twist. Look towards your right palm. For six, 
your five, four, three, deep breath, two, and one. Inhale again, come back up, open your chest like this. Exhale, bring your palms over here and go forward. Bring your forehead to your mat. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, slowly, just try to come back like this. Walk back with your palms. Inhale, bring your hands from the side to up. Exhale, right palm down. Go for some slight twist over there again. Five. Here, four. Deep breath. Look towards the left palm. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come back up. Open your chest. Exhale, switching your side. Left palm down, left elbow down. And your other hand straight up close to your ear. Look up towards your right palm. For six. Five, deep breath. Three. And one. Inhale, slowly come back up. Open your chest. Exhale, bring your palms forward. And again, your forehead to your mat. Get some nice deep breaths in over there. Again, slowly, just try to come back up. Now from here, bring your palms just beside your body like this. Release your legs and have a nice comfortable pose over there. Your Sukhasana or Arpadmasana, wherever you feel comfortable or just stay in the Vajrasana. Now bring your right palm to your left knee and other hand straight back. Going for some nice spine twist over there. So inhale, lengthen your spine, straight your spine, look forward, exhale. Go for a nice twist and just try to look back for 10. Deep breath, inhale and exhale over there. Nine. Your eight. Inhale. Exhale. Go for more and more deeper twist over there. Three. Two. And one. Inhale. Come back. Open your chest. Exhale. Left palm to your right knee. Other hand straight back. Inhale, lengthen it to your spine. Exhale, go for a nice twist and look back. For eight, just try to bend your left elbow as much as possible and bring your shoulders parallel to each other. For six, your five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale again, come back. Open your chest like this. Exhale, bring your palms forward to your mat. Arms according to your shoulder level. Inhale, lengthen into your spine. Exhale, walk forward and bring your forehead to your mat. Four, six, five, here, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back, walk back with your palms. Lengthen your spine, straight your spine, bring your hands all the way up and relax and release from the side to your body. Well done. Okay, now from here we're going to use this booster. So grab a booster or a big pillow like this. Bring it over here. Make sure that booster is totally mid of your mat. Like this, at the end of your mat and mid of your mat. Like this. Now turn your body. If you're already turned, so stay there. And bring your spine close to that booster like this. Your feet in a butterfly pose over here. Make sure there is a gap in between your hip and heels, one feet distance at least. Inhale, just try to grab your foot like this. Inhale, lengthen your spine, straight your spine. Exhale, you're falling down or just try to bend your elbows and bring your palms forward like this. Inhale, your exhale. Inhale. Your exhale, inhale, and exhale. With every single exhalation, you're just trying one thing, reaching more downward towards your feet. 
at the same time just try to bring your knees down as well get some nice stretch in your hips and thighs four six five four three two and one inhale again bring your hands to your feet like this or to your toes inhale lengthen your spine straight your spine like this bring your hands all the way up relax and release from beside your body now just try to grab your thighs from here from down to here inhale again lengthen into your spine exhale slowly and gently bring your spine to that booster and bring your head also over there release your hands just beside your body your palm facing up and get some nice spine stretch over and close your eyes as well Long deep breaths in and out continuously. And now slowly and gently bring your awareness back. Open your eyes. Again, just try to grab your thighs from down here. Inhale slowly and gently, as slow and gentle as you can. Bring your spine up. Very good. Now from here, inhale, bring your hands from beside to up. Lengthen it to your spine, straight your spine. Exhale, reach down. Or simply, you can bring your palms to your spine as well. Here's it again. Or simply you can bring your palms to your knees like this. Inhale and exhale. Go downer at the same time pressing your knees down. For eight. Seven. Six. Breath. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, inhale, slowly and gently, come back up, lengthen it to your spine. Exhale, release. Now again, grab your thighs from here. Inhale, exhale again, lay down to that booster. Bring your head down and release and relax your hands just beside your body. Again, your good and nice deep breaths. Close your eyes if you want. slowly bring the awareness back open your eyes and grip your thighs bring your elbows down to your mat lift your body up and just try to sit slowly lift up inhale bring your hands from the side to up exhale reach down that's a nice hunch in your spine for 10 And one, slowly and gently come back up, lengthen your spine first, you can grip your feet like this, make sure they are like together, lengthen it to your spine, look forward, exhale, release and relax from the side to your body, very good, okay now from here, remove this booster from your back, now bring your legs back like this, your palms according to your shoulder level, your toes are tucked in as it is, your knees according to your hip level. Now inhale and lift your glutes up into your downward facing dog. 
Now press your shoulders downer and deeper. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Shift your body forward to your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale. Toes back. Your Bhujangasana. Hold here. For six, make sure your elbows are like totally close to your side ribs. And look forward any one particular point. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rolling over the toes. Going back into your downer dog. Again, breathe in. And hold this position. For six. Two. And one again. Shift it forward. Your body into your blank. Knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale. Toes back. Your Bhujangasana. Hold here. Again, your elbows are like close to your side ribs. For eight. Two and one, rolling over the toes, going back into your downward facing dog. Press your shoulders for five, four, three, two, and one. One last round, your shift to your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, your Bhujangasana. Hold here. All right. This time you can straighten your elbows. Make sure your chest is totally open and your shoulders are back. Seven. Four. Three. Two. And one again, rolling over the toes, going back. You're down on facing dark. Press your shoulders for five. Four, three, two, and one. Your knees to your mat, like this. Your knees together, your toes facing back. Bring your hands just beside your body, your palm facing up. Your forehead, close to your mat. Like this, on your mat. Your spine is totally relaxing and hunching over here. Totally release your body in here. Take your time. Relax your whole spine. Okay, bring your palms just beside to your head, like this. Bring your body up into your Vajrasana. Bring your palms just beside to your body. Bring your feet forward like this. Going for the Pashimuthanasana. Counter pose of your Ujangasana. So for this one, your feet are together. Relax your glutes over there, your toes facing your side. Inhale, bring your hands from beside to up. Exhale, you feeling deeper. Just try to grab your toes, big toes with the index finger and middle finger. If you're not reaching over there yet, so you can use the strap or towel over here. Or just bring your palms beside your legs. Inhale, lengthen it to your spine. Exhale, you fold in deeper. Get some nice hunch in your spine over here.
deep breath. Okay, inhale again, lengthen it to your spine, grab your toes, or just bring your palms over here to your shin. Lengthen it, lengthen it, lengthen it. Exhale, bring your hands up. Release and relax. Very good. Now from here, cross your legs like this, and just try to stand on your mat. Like this. Now from here, we're going to come to your top of your mat, one feet apart. Your feet are together, your whole body is straight, like this, into your samsthiti. Your hands just beside your body. Open your each and every finger. Okay, now from here, inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Nice arch. Exhale, you're folding deeper. Inhale, your right leg back. Your back toe is on your mat. Your back knee is on your mat. Pass your hips down and look up. Exhale, your other leg follows into your plank pose. Knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back your Bhujangasana. Hold here. Four, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, rolling over the toes, going back into your parvatas, and your feet are together into your parvat. Press your shoulders. Inhale, right leg forward, look up. Exhale, your other leg follows. Pull in deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Eyes arch. Exhale, release and relax inside your body. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Your arch. Exhale, all in deeper. Inhale, left leg back. Look up, back knees on your mat. Into your Ashushan Chalan. Exhale, the other leg follows into your plank. Now your knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back your Bhujangasana. Hold here. For eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, rolling over the toes and going back into your Parvatasana. Press your shoulders. Inhale, left leg forward. Look up, Ashushan Chalan. Exhale, the other leg follows and you're falling deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Nice arch. Exhale, release and relax. Inhale, come on, going for the other round. Raj. Exhale. All in deeper. Inhale, right leg back. Look up, Ashushan Chalan. Exhale, the other leg follows into your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back your Bhujangasana. Again, hold and breathe. For eight, seven, six, your five, four, Three, two, and one. Exhale, rolling over the toes. Bring back into your Parvatasana. Inhale, right leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the other leg follows and fold in deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Arch. Exhale, release and relax. Second side. Inhale, you're up and arch. Exhale, all in downer. Inhale, left leg back, raise on your mat, back knees on your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, your other leg follows into your plank pose. <laughs> knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, your Bhujangasana. Exhale, moving over the toes, going back into your Parvatasana. Inhale, left leg forward, look up. Exhale, your other leg follows and pulling deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to a arch. Exhale, free. Release and relax. Inhale, you're up and arch. Exhale, all in downer. Inhale, right leg back. Back knees on your mat, your arch. Exhale, the other leg follows into your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Bhujangasana. Hold for eight, seven. Your elbows are in close to your body. Six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, rolling over the toes, going back into your 
Parvadasan. Inhale, right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the other leg follows and pull in deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. Arch. Exhale, three. Release and relax. Going for three or four more rounds. Inhale, come on, you're up into your position. Arch. Exhale, hold in deeper. <laughs> Inhale, left leg back. Look up. Ashishan Chalan. Exhale. The other leg follows into your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Pujangasana. Hold here for six. Deep breath. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rolling over the toes. Going back. Your Parvatasana. Inhale, left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the other leg follows and folding deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up and nice arch. Exhale, three, to release and relax. Two last rounds. Inhale, you're up and arch. Exhale, you're falling down. Inhale, right leg back. Look up. Exhale, the other leg follows into your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Pujangasana. Hold here for eight. Seven. Six, you're five, deep breath, four, continuously, three, two, and one, exhale, rolling over the toes, feet together, pressing your shoulders for five, four, three, two, one, right leg forward, look up, exhale, the other leg follows and falling deeper, inhale, bring your hands from forward to up, a nice arch, release and relax. Inhale, last round, your arch. Exhale, fold in down. <sighs> Inhale, left leg back, look up, your back knees on your mat. Exhale, your other leg follows into your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, your Bhujangasana. Exhale, rolling over the toes. Back into your Parvatasana. Inhale, left foot forward, look up, exhale. The other leg follows and fall in deeper. Inhale, bring your hands from forward to up. A nice arch. Exhale, free. To release and relax. Well done. Now from here, open your feet according to your shoulder level or more than your shoulder level. Your palm facing forward. Close your eyes into your standing Shavasana. Standing dead person pose. With some nice and long deep breath in and out. Bring your whole focus towards your belly, towards your breath. And with the help of your deep breaths, just try to relax your body. Relax your breath. When you're inhaling, your belly comes out. And when you're exhaling, your belly goes in. Now slowly and gently bring the wings back to your body. Firstly, open your eyes, bring your feet together and get ready for the next one. So for this one, now from here going for the camel pose. So for this one, your feet are together first like this. Inhale, bring your hands from the side to up. Exhale, you're falling down. Inhale, lengthen it to your spine. Exhale, palms to your mat, bend your knees, one jump or you can walk back like this into your plank. Knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back your Pujangasana. Exhale, rolling over the toes and going back into your Parvatasana. Now from here, bring your knees down to your mat like this. Shift your body back and come to your, come over here. Bring your body up. You're standing on your knees. Your knees are wide apart according to your hip level. Your toes are tugged in like this. Okay, now from here, inhale, bring your hands from beside to up. 
Exhale, bring your right palm to your right heel over here. And arch your spine as good as possible. Look up towards your left palm for six. Deep breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, switch to your other side. Left palm to your left heel and other hand straight up. Arch your spine as good as possible for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale again all the way up. Switch to your other side. Right palm to your right heel and your nice arch for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Switch to your other side. Left palm, left heel, and your nice arch for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, you're up. Exhale, switch to your other side. Very close. Arch. With every single arch, just try to go more deeper into your position. Just try to bring your abdomen more forward. And you can get some nice pace. You get some nice arch over there for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, switch to your other side, left palm, left heel, and your good arch. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way, come forward. Bring your palms down, your toes back, knees together into your child's pose. So bring your forehead close to your mat or to your mat directly like this. Your hands just beside your body, palm facing up. And relax your body over here. Get some nice and long deep breath in and out. After 10 more seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly bring your palms just beside your head. Bring your body up into your Vajrasana. Now from here again we're going for the same work, but this time we'll go for with some variation. So for this one again, bring your knees according to your hip level like this. Your hands just beside your body. Inhale, bring your hands from beside to up. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your right palm to your right heel and left palm to your left heel. Arch your spine as good as possible. Bring your abdomen forward. I'll drop in the back. Four six. Five, deep breath, four, three, two, and one. First, bring your left hand up, and then your right hand up. Release and relax, reaching the sides. Left hand up, back to your heel. Right hand up, back to your heel. Bring your abdomen forward, bring your chest out. Open your chest, bring your shoulders back, and arch. Nice and good arch over there for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly and gently come back. Bring your left hand up and then your right hand up. Arms down to your mat, your toes back, knees together, and just beside into your child's pose. Ten seconds. Totally relax your body over here.
Totally relax and release. Make sure that your shoulders are totally released and relaxed over there. Now slowly and gently come back, bring your palms just beside your head, lift your body up into your Vajrasana. Again come to your knees, like this. Open your knees, according to your hip level, your toes are tucked in, going for the second round, then that's it. Together, your hands just beside your body, inhale, bring your hand, right hand up, your right palm to your right heel, and your left palm to your left heel. Bring your chest out, open your chest, and drop your neck back. Breathe in. Breathe out continuously for eight. Level. Six. Five. Four. Three. One. Right up. Left up. Okay, now left back to your heel. Right back to your heel. Open your chest and again drop your neck back for eight. Seven, four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left up first, then your right up. Two more rounds. Come on, together. Inhale, right up to your heel. Left up and to your heel. Arch your spine as good as possible. Bring your abdomen more forward than before. All right. Seven. Six, deep breath, five, four, three, two, and one. Right up, your left up, switching the side. Left hand back to your heel, right hand back to your heel over here. Arch your spine and drop your neck back. Four, eight, seven, and six, deep breath, five, four, three, two, and one left up and then your right up well done bring your palms to your mat your toes back knees together the same thing your child's pose bring your hands just beside your body your palm facing up and your forehead to your mat Now slowly bring the awareness back, bring your palms just beside to your head, bring your body up into your Vajrasana. Okay, now from here, the next one we are going for the Dhanurasana. So for this one, lay down first, your abdomen downside, like this. Lay down from your abdomen side, there is a gap in between your knee, according to your hip level. Your hands back, just beside to your body, palm facing up, and your chin to your mat. Now bend your knees and just try to grab your ankles like this. Now from here we're going to lift our body up in three, two, one. Inhale, lift up into your Dhanurasana. Four, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one slowly and gently come back to your mat your forehead or your chin to your mat release your legs or you can make a pillow with your palms like this and bring your hat to that pillow your forehead get some nice deep breath in Okay, now from here, just bring your palms just beside to your chest like this. <laughs> Lift your body up, tuck your toes in. Lift your body up like this. And come to your hands and knees. Now making sure that your toes are tucked as it is. Inhale, lift your knees up as well into your plank. Now from here. Let's start from here. Inhale, lift your spine up, come to your knees and release your knees as well into your plank. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale, close back your Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Marvatasana or your Advamukhoswanasana. Your shift to your plank, knees, chest and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back your Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Advamukhoswanasana. Going for four or five more rounds, your shift to your plank, knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Adhomukhosanasana. Your shift to your plank, knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Adhomukhosanasana. Your shift, knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Adhomukhosanasana. Your shift, two more rounds, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Adhomukhoswanasana. One last round, your shift to your plank. Knees, chest, and chin to your mat. Inhale, toes back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, your Adhomukhoswanasana. Breathe and hold in here for six. Bath. Four, three, two, one. Okay, bring your knees down, bring your abdomen down, and bring your whole body down to your mat. Make a pillow again, like this, with your palms. Bring your hat to that pillow. Slowly bring the wings back to your body. Release your hands. Come to your chin. Your hands just beside your body, palm facing up. Going for the second round. So in this one, again, bend your knees and bring your heels close to your hips. Like this. Just try to grab your ankles. In five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift your body up into your dhanurasana. For eight, deep breath. Seven, those pointing up. Six, five, deep breath. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly and gently, your forehead to your mat. Release your legs, bring your palms forward like this. Make a pillow and bring your hat to the pillow. Again, bring the awareness back. Bring your palms just beside to your chest. Ujangasana to your knees and lift your knees up as well into your plank pose. Hold here for five, four, three, two, 
one knees chest and chin to your mat inhale your bhujangasana toes back exhale your adho mukho svanasana your shift to your blank knees chest and chin to your mat inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana your shift to your blank knees chest and chin to your mat inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana five more rounds your shift knees chest and chin inhale bhujangasana your adho mukho svanasana your shift knees chest and chin inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana three more your shift to your blank knees chest and chin inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana two more your shift to your blank knees chest and chin inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana your shift to your blank knees chest and chin inhale bhujangasana exhale your adho mukho svanasana breathe and hold here for six five four three two and one knees to your mat your knees wide open according to your shoulder level your toes back and your palms forward as it is bring your forehead to your mat Okay, now from here slowly and gently bring your body up into your vajrasana over here have a nice seat or you can stay into your vajrasana as well or choose this one your sukhasana or padmasana going for the kapal bhati at the end your hands to your knees over here your spine straight and strong you're looking forward in one particular point and then slowly and gently close your eyes Get some long deep breath in and out. Get okay, out from here. Inhale and exhale. Start your breathing. So every time what you're actually doing in the kapal bhati, you have to exhale continuously. And when you are exhaling, your abdomen goes in continuously. Like exhale, your abdomen. In. Going for 60 or 70 of these strokes. Keep your spine straight, your hands to your knees. Go for it. Close your eyes. Your time, complete your rounds. Whenever you're completed, stay over there, your eyes closed as it is. Get some long breath in and out. Feel the vibration you created with the help of this pranayam in your body, at your face, or in your mind as well.
slowly and gently open your eyes. Now from here lay down into your Shavasana for next one minute. So your feet are open according to your shoulder level or more than your shoulder level. Release your body to your mat. Your head is on your mat. Make sure your toes Make sure you're totally released and relaxed on your mat. Slowly bring the awareness back to your body. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands from the side to up. Stretch your hands upside, toes downside. Nice and good stretching your whole body. Release. Now bend your left knee, turn your body towards the right side. Bring your knee close to your chest. Take the support of your right hand under your head like a pillow. Now use your left palm in front of your chest to your mat and press that palm and just try to sit in any comfortable pose. Now bring your palms forward. Bring to end our practice with one deep om. So inhale. Your palms create the heat, create the energy. Palms to your eyeball, palms to your face. Slowly open your eyes inside and release. And relax. Thanks, yogis, for joining the session. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys really felt that nice and good arch and stretches in your whole spine. Actually, today's class is mostly for your spine. So give this one a very good try and do share this practice with your friends and family. That's it for now. Till then, take care, stay safe, namaste.